Hi YouTubers out there. This is Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you again for the subject of steel cased ammunition. Now a lot of our shooters have tried this and some complain that this ammunition is worthless. Others swear by it. Certainly the shooters should try it because the cost of steel cased ammunition is much less than brass cased ammunition. And if it works in your particular firearm then by all means it's a very good value. So let's look at some of these cases, some of these calibers that use steel case ammunition. So the bottom one is a 30 carbine, the middle one is a 223, and the top one is a 7.62 by 39. Now the carbine round and the 223 round, there are some shooters that complain that these don't function well, they don't feed, they don't eject, problems of that nature. But you don't hear very many problems about this one, the 7.62 by 39. Almost everyone is happy with this round with a steel case ammunition. Well, why is that? These two, of course, are U.S. calibers, military calibers, and you notice how the cases are fairly straight-walled. One of the problems with steel is that it doesn't expand as well when the case is fired, so that it doesn't seal the chamber as well when the when the bullet goes down the bore some of the gases will blow back because the the case doesn't seal and the gases blow back and cause powder fouling in the chamber and then subsequent rounds might get jammed it will not eject well and you'll get failures to eject However, this one doesn't tend to have those problems. And here's the reason why. If you look at this, the 762 by 39 round is a heavily tapered case. Whereas these are straighter and longer for the caliber. So this one inherently will feed better. And even a foul chamber tends to to feed better. As for ejection, look carefully. You'll notice that the 762 by 39 round has a deep rim and a very thick, a very thick rim and a deeper extraction groove so that the extractor can get a better bite and the rim doesn't tend to weaken on the extraction cycle. This gives you a better ejection and extraction. Whereas look at the look at our 223 or 5.56 round it has a shallower extraction groove and a thinner, weaker rim. See the difference? So the bite of the extractor is not as good and the rim can be torn off more easily leading to extraction ejection problems. So this inherently will work better 
with a steel case. And that's perhaps why we don't have as many people complaining, so, so many of our shooters complaining about the use of steel case in the 7.62 by 39 round. Now we can offset some of these things and that is if we use these rounds here in our, our 223s and our 30 carbines pick up an empty casing that's off your your bench when you're when you're shooting and just go ahead and take a paper towel and wipe the case off if you see a lot of black soot then we've got an obturation problem that can lead to to malfunctions after we fire a few rounds because the chamber is getting fouled. By all means bring a chamber brush and every 50 rounds or so, 100 rounds, just run the brush uh, into your chamber or spray a little uh, rem oil or a little bit of uh, WD-40 mist into the chamber area and that should solve our problems for us so we can go ahead and use the steel core or the steel case um, ammunition. This will help us be able to take advantage of the value of using the steel case ammunition. And by the way, this is not junk. This ammunition is not junk because we used steel case back in 1943. This is one of our 45 ACP rounds from World War II. It's made in, in the uh, Evansville, um, Indiana plant, 1943, and it is steel cased. So we used steel case ammunition way back then. So YouTubers, give uh, steel case a try, and if it works for you, by all means, uh, use, use it within the limitations that they have. And uh, have some good uh, sessions at the range. Bye for now.